Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, the 3rd of January. Yes, we're back to the two-a-day production schedule. Holidays are over, so we're back in the groove, and I think most people will slowly get there this week, maybe next week for some. And it's cold. Now, let's look at some of the SkyCam shots around the Alpha SkyCam network this afternoon. We'll start with the Demopolis SkyCam. And even down there in, in Marengo County, we note they're sitting at 39 at uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. A cloudless sky. Here's the Auburn Sky Cam off in the distance, Jordan Hare Stadium. They are in the 30s, and Birmingham in the 30s. Uh, that's the view coming from the Wingate Inn, overlooking traffic on Highway 280. Pretty light out there today. Seems like a lot of folks are still kind of hanging back, watching some football. They'll slowly get back to work. All right, there's the water vapor satellite view, and you can see our trough is clearly progressive. It's not blocked. It's moving. There's not a traffic jam. So it's going to be a short cold snap, but another hard freeze tonight. Uh, we'll see more of those upper teens in the colder valleys, maybe mid-teens in spots. Uh, there's a look at the 2 o'clock observations. Birmingham, 36. Remember a week ago when the GFS was predicting highs in the 50s today, and I said, look out, it's bogus. Well, there you go. Uh, you know, medium-range guidance off the GFS stinks. It skews toward climatology. It can't handle cold air like this. Uh, the only spots at 40 are Tuscaloosa and Montgomery. And around the nation... They're below zero over much of eastern Canada. It's really cold up there. But notice the nice warm-up across the high plains, and that air will be spreading in here in coming days. Red flag warning. We get questions about that all the time. That involves the high risk of wildfires, forest fires, uh, because the dew points are like around zero in spots. This air is about as dry as it gets, and that just means be really careful if you're burning outdoors. And Look down to the south, a hard freeze warning in Florida, all the way down to Tampa Bay and Lake Okeechobee, Daytona Beach. And then below that, you got a freeze warning down to Miami. So very cold night, and the citrus growers will be nervously watching. And there's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Sunday morning. Numbers coming up a little bit. This run has us getting about uh, one-half inch for the northern half of the state with uh, lighter amounts down south. Let's get in there and take a look at the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at noon tomorrow. And this is the 12Z run. You can see energy coming at us from the northwest, but hey, there's no moisture, no clouds, nothing. Now, again, we start the day down in the low 20s, teens for the valleys, but we warm up nicely with low 50s by afternoon. The GFS, the NAM are showing 51. There's Thursday, mid 50s are likely, 56 on both models. And Friday, how about 62? We note moisture will be increasing. I think clouds will increase. Notice uh, the model not giving some evidence of maybe a small chance of a shower Friday afternoon. We'd probably lean in that direction, but the better chance will be Saturday. There's a look at the uh, Saturday uh, chart there. And again, this is at 500 millibars. You can see troughing action coming at us. And down below that, uh, showers. Uh, lift an index almost to zero, but I don't think we see any thunder now uh, based on that. And we'll just mention a good chance of showers Saturday. Still mild with mid-60s. And then the rain is gone by midday Sunday. This is noon Sunday. So it uh, uh, looks like we can safely take out the rain on Sunday. And it will be cooler a little bit, not much. Highs drop back in the 50s where they should be. And Monday of next week, pretty typical temperatures. Should be a sunny day with uh, around freezing early in the day with mid-50s Monday afternoon. We note the rain over South Texas in the Western Gulf. And Tuesday, look at that feature. It's a bowling ball coming at us over Louisiana. And uh, that shows uh, rain just west of here. And again, that's a week from today. Let's go to Wednesday of next week, midweek. Uh, that uh, lead wave is kind of on by, but the big long wave trough is forming. And uh, down below that, that looks uh, like Again, the bulk of the rain is off to the east, so this is kind of suggesting Tuesday night maybe would be the best chance of rain with that, kind of winding down Wednesday. And look at the cold air flooding the nation. And then on uh, Thursday the 12th at 6 o'clock local time, pretty cold look for the eastern part of the country, and you can see some colder air dropping in here. And look at the 13th. The trough sharpens up. Energy is coming down the backside. It sharpens, and it turns even colder with a 540 line down there in the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, it looks like another pretty quick, cold snap coming up toward the end of next week uh, and dry no snow if this is right 
We'll check the end of the forecast on the 19th of January. Another big trough to the west. We're in the warm sector. It looks kind of rainy here. And look at the snowstorm, if that's right, around Minneapolis-St. Paul. But, hey, this is voodoo. We don't know if that's going to happen or not. But, well, again, we'll check the NAO. We showed you that this morning. That's the... Uh, GFS forecast and again it uh, tries to get into the negative side just briefly but it kind of veers back into positive territory at mid-month and again until you see a big spike down in that more than likely any cold snap here will be relatively short-lived like the one we have right now. That's it for the weather extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and if you live around here we invite you to watch us on television this evening ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6 and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.